I am Metatron. Hi, Metatron. Thank you for coming. Nice to um, it is talk a to you again. Yes. Uh, what's, what's new in your uh, area of activities? There's many new things. The galaxy is full of great and wonderful adventures, but the universe is even greater. But we are trying to calm some wars down at the edge of the galaxy. That is the biggest of the, our troubles at this time, but the beautiful thing is that your ascension continues and that we will be a part of that as well. Thank you. Um, what's your take on the ascension? How, how long will it take? There are many different guesses. It takes as long as it takes, but it will take a while. We feel that over a hundred years is necessary for it to be complete. Now, don't confuse that with some of those people moving in to the next dimension. The ascension is your next move in evolution and in discovering your new talents as a species, whereas moving into the, a new density is something, something quite different and something that some will do without reaching ascension end. But of course, there's no real end to the ascension. It continues. It just has some watershed places and some goal areas. I don't, uh, can you explain um, what's the difference between, uh, you said there is individual moving, people moving to uh, the higher density and collective moving to the higher density. What's the difference? Is it the same? Uh, ascension is a different movement. There are some that are trying to move to the next density, density Terra Ha, and there are those that are just in the human race that are moving toward telepathy. Oh. Okay. So if you don't make a cross, if you don't cross over to another reality, you, are, you haven't ascended yet. You just raised your vibration. That's what exactly. you want. Exactly. Correct. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I, I see a lot of other channelings which expect the ascension to happen in the next few years. That is not possible. Not possible. Mm -hmm. They do not, there is a lot of false information out there, and there's a lot of misunderstanding about what the ascension really is. And so their information goes along with their understanding, mm -hmm. but it may not be what the original uh, alien or spirit is wanting to say. They're mixing their thought processes with those of higher thought processes and coming up with answers that are incorrect. Thank you. Be complete. You will not have reached a telepathic universal, a universal telepathic place, or you will not have reached the next density. So neither one of those is true. So what their opinion of ascension is, I am not sure. Uh, there is a lot of expectation that there will be some um, galactic event or solar solar event which will transmute the whole reality humans are impatient <laughs> thank you all right uh, let's switch to thank you um one more question i have um uh, there is now an opportunity to start a subscription-based system of webinars on on hukala uh, the disadvantage is that so far it has been all free and uh, that attracted people in many ways. But we failed to make a structure on our side, so it was uh, all volunteer-based volunteer and f at the moment we have a crisis with volunteers. There is only basically one person who actually is doing something for free, which is Bree. And, um, so my question is, how about we start doing uh, uh, subscription-based webinars 
and then we can pay little money for, to people and that might attract a lot of people on the side of doing stuff. It might repel some of the public, but it will attract some workers to actually structure and be responsible. Yes. I can see that the, it being a free webinar has drawn people and this has been a great help to your success mm -hmm. because it has been a lot of information that people have gathered over the years and are grateful for. I believe that if you put a price tag on it, some will believe that you have sold out and that it is no longer for them anymore because it was for them that because they could not afford uh, to pay for sessions and it was started in the beginning altogether. Now, those people that are new will not feel the same way. They might be interested in buying a spot, but those that are older may want to be grandfathered in at a free price tag. You will find there will be some push and shove on this decision. Now, of course, there is push and shove for all changes. This is up to you. You have free will to decide what you feel is best. My thought process is that ne either way it will continue. You may want to experiment with it and see how it goes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next question, changing the topic. I, I understand, thank you. Uh, changing the topic now. Uh, can you comment on the origins of humanity? Uh, there are stuff. Yes, go ahead. Basically, there are two stories and I still cannot, cannot combine them well. One story is of the fall of the Atlantis, and it's really hard to put the time frame on it, but basically, <coughs> I'm talking about the Atlantis, which was in the, on, on, on Terra, on Terra how, on, on, uh, on Tara, basically, on the previous Earth. So the, the fall of the, of the higher dimensional Earth to to lower dimensional earth to, to what we have now. And um, in, so that's one story. And another story is about uh, what scientists find, how the humans have evolved on earth. And it's pretty convincing that we are evolved on earth for a long time and that our DNA is very similar to the one of primates, other primates, and very similar to other mammals. So, so here is kind of the story doesn't, these two stories don't come together really well. You have to like kind of clarify that. Well, first of all, there is no truth to the fact that Atlantis was in a different dimension. It had to be third dimensional for it to be on this planet and to make any impact. The other thing is, there is some truth to the fact that there is evolution on the planet. Of course, we've seen it and you've seen it, but there was interference with the Anunnaki who caused great advances in evolution. And that is why you cannot find the missing links. They planted evidence that would cause you to believe that where there was millions of years in between evolutions, or at least hundreds of thousands. However, some of the advances were very quickly done. And at the time that they existed with the Earth, time travel was easy and not a part of regulated space. So they could plant evidences that this was the truth. They did not want anyone to know what they had done because it was messy in process and it was not a good thing to have done in some ways. However, 
there are some species that grew and evolved on their own on different portions of your planet. But some missing links are due to the Anunnaki who planted um, evidence that there was when they actually evolved the species rather quickly. Um, are there Anunnaki re the reptilians? They are not known exactly what they originally were. We know, but we cannot tell you that information. Okay. Um, what was first, uh, the Anunnaki creating the humans or the Atlantis? The Anunnaki were here before Atlantis. So the whole creation of the humans was before Atlantis? Yes. Was it the before? Of humanity and the seeding of the planet became, were far before Atlantis. Okay. Was it before Lemuria? Before what? Lemuria. Lemuria. The Lemurians came at several different points in your seeding, and they were a great help in some ways to dispersing your hmm, DNA. Thank you. Um, what is the difference between saying Lemuria and Lumeria? I think both have uh, some meaning, like uh, Mu is of some value and uh, Lumeria is of some value. What's, what's, why is that discrep discrepancy? Yes, one is from outer space, as you would call it. The other is those that formed colonies on this planet. So they changed specifically with where they were from because some related to being from the earth and others related to being from the sky. So which ones are which? Lumerians are from the sky. Ah. And what, the, what does st Lumer st stand for? What is Lumer? Lumer is a brilliant light and they consider themselves advanced and illuminated. Ah, thank you. Were they humans? They were not originally, but they did eventually start to mate with what is now called humans. So... That is the difference between the ones from the sky and the ones who colonized Earth and stayed here on your planet. They eventually died out and some did return to the sky. Uh, so were Lumerians, were they, were they uh, mammals or were they reptilians? Yes, they were mammals. So human looking, but not humans. Correct. I see. Are they? But they did not look all that human. I see. They were. They had some human features, and were a bit taller than the regular humans. I would imagine you could mistake them for humans at first glance, but if you were to look closely, you would realize there were some features that were not human. The smaller ears, and the colors of the eyes, etc. Are they around now? No, they are not part of your culture at this time. They are part of a subculture in one area of the earth subterraneally. I see. So they exist? They do exist. And they will be coming back to earth again. What color are they? They are actually humanoid in color. Are they black? They can be black or they can be Caucasian. I see. Uh, what density are they from? They are from a fourth density, but have the ones that have stayed behind accepted 
a third den density lifestyle. They actually enjoy it. So they feel like they are greater than the population, even though they are subterranean and do not show themselves, but they still have some control on the surface. Thank you. They're not involved in military complex, right? Not directly. I see. Um, so, Lumerians. So the, the Lemurians on Earth, they were third dimensional, third density, yeah. right? They are now third dimensional, the ones that are left behind. Many were destroyed in some of the Earth, great earthquake events and tsunamis and things of this nature. And some died of disease. And when they were started to get diseases, they left the planet or went subterranean. I think, I see. So um, what is the time frame for the whole development? Like Anunnaki, how long ago they created humans? It began um, many millions of years ago. Uh-huh. And uh, Lemuria and Atlantis, what is the time frame for their uh, existence? I believe 58 million years ago, 58 to 60. I'm not exactly sure of the exact time period, uh -huh. but I do know it was many millions of years ago. Um, and the, we have, we have this, the time for the last fall of Atlantis about 23,000 years ago. Is it about right? That seems rather close. I would go more out to about 40,000. Thank you. But there might have been some evidences still 23,000 years ago, but I believe most of them had left the planet by 38 or 40,000 years ago. So how does it correlate with the, with the story of the fall of the humanity from the higher density? Was there a humanity? There is, there is no correlation in that way it is, they are trying to tell a story about fourth dimensional beings that came to a third dimensional world and then became more third dimensional because of the, the way that life was on the planet at that time. And then, but it is still not, it, it does not jive because they did not fall. They chose what they did. Uh, are you talking about Lumerians or some other beings? Uh, uh, talking about some of the species that were in Atlantis. They chose to be third dimensional to stay there. It was a utopian kind of existence to be in Atlantis. So even if they were fourth dimensional, they chose to come to third dimension and stay there because at that time it was a very it was a very good life. I see. So there was. So what about Tara? Oh, Tara Ha. Was the humanity ever living on on higher dimensional Tara Ha or Tara? Tara Ha still exists, and there are those that can come to Earth. Or your dimension from Teraha, if they wish, through technology. And that is the only way they can get to your planet, because they would have to go backwards. And to go forwards, you must rise into the fourth dimension or into that density. But technology can bring you back to a, a previous density, if you wish. But you cannot just go back. Uh, so my question is, was there a fall from Teraha? Was the 
Terra how Terra uh, ever. It was not a fall. It was a choice. Oh. They choose to come back to third dimension. You okay. cannot fall back to third dimension. You must choose to come back to third dimension. Because after you rise, there is no falling back. If you stay in your new density, unless you find technology to bring you back to an earlier density. Um, I'm just reading Di uh, Diane, Ash Ashayana Diane, and there there was a story about the destruction of Terra and um, that Terra kind of was broken in multiple, four, four density Terra was broken into multiple planets of third density, one of which is Earth. And uh, the uh, human race fell from higher density to lower density. So you don't confirm the whole story. Yes. What it is, is this. You're talking about the same story about uh, angels that fell from heaven and went into a different density. That is their choice to do that. And also, it was a choice to come to the third dimension. It was not that they accidentally fell into third dimension. They had to choose to come to it. Yes, there was destruction. Yes, they were divided. But that does not change the density. Only technology could come into play to bring them to a third dimensional existence from a higher existence. So it wasn't humans yet. It was small like angels. Who was this? It was, it was fourth dimensional beings, but they decided through technology to come to third dimension because there was a war, there was a division, there was destruction. And so when they decided to change dimension, it was to escape from what was happening to their dimension. Uh, are you intentionally not naming them or is it a name for them? What do you mean? Like are they humans or not? They are. Ah. Even though they, are, they had gone to a higher dimension at one point, humanity this is its, not its first time around, uh -huh. but it is its final time. I see. Good. Uh, so our archaeologists find lots of evidence that there was a prehistoric man f developing on Earth for the last half a million years. And yes. this prehistoric man was using the same primitive sets of tools like for about half a million years, like uh, arrows of the same kind and fire, very primitive fire. Does this make sense to you? I see that in many museums it's absolutely real. Yes, but does it make sense to you? It doesn't drive with, uh, it doesn't correlate with the story which we're discussing right now. It's kind of. No, it does not. Evidences were planted by the Anunnaki through the centuries to make you believe that there were things of this nature that they were not advancing at all for a half a million years. That does make no sense. Maybe it was just a parallel development, some other species which was kind of coexisting with humans? Well, they planted evidence that they were not evolving. And then there was a great evolution. And, there, and there, then you have missing links. So they want you to believe what they planted and what they are telling you. They do not want you to believe the truth. Thank you. That's pretty clear. Unfortunately, I ran out of time, but the topic is very interesting. Thank you very much for um, clarifying it. Very well. Have a wonderful day. Perhaps the information that I've given you will help some understand that Earth's evolution had some help. Uh-huh. Thank you.
Hello. Hey, hey, Jim. How you doing? I'm good. Now it's uh, 17 minutes after your whatever hour. 1.17. It's good. Thank you. I, I will now uh, stop the recording. Okay.